Hey, today I'm talking about the new movie, How to Blow Up a Pipeline. This is based off of the nonfiction book of the same name, and the basic premise is the title. More specifically though, it's about a group of a bunch of young adults who for various reasons all band together to blow up some oil pipelines. And it's pretty dang good. I really like the story and the messaging. I think both of those are very, very well done, especially in regards to like, the clear counter arguments to everything that they do. Like, these guys are blowing up property, and for all intents and purposes, they're terrorists. And they talk about that aspect, and they talk about the ramifications that hurt the everyday citizens of their actions. But they also talk about how they feel the means justify the ends in regards to, like, this is an act of violence that needs to be done because in order to get change, peaceful protesting doesn't work, is their argument. That even looking through Throughout history, any times we've had meaningful change, it is through violence. But then we go back and whitewash history and turn it into, no, it was the peaceful protest, that's what won, when that's not really the case. So like at the core of it, it's about desperately trying to stop climate change through violent means, but they all have different personal reasons for why they are doing what they're doing. And I think all of that is done really, really well. My issues with the movie more so stem from the fact that I don't think a lot of the actors are that good. No one's bad. By any means, no one is bad. Mm. But they're not the strongest. I almost wonder if a stronger director could have also helped elevate their performances. And really, it didn't bring the movie down a lot. I do think it was a pretty good movie. And really, I would recommend it. I just don't think the way in which they told the story is going to really change people's opinions on this matter. Like, I do think it's kind of going to more so reaffirm people's beliefs in needing to do something about climate change. But I don't think anyone who like a climate denier or anything like that is going to be moved by this story in any way. Even though they really do do a good job of looking at this subject from a lot of different angles that are very rage inducing. So yeah, it's definitely good and worth a watch, but it's not the most amazing film. And now for my ranking, I put this at number 13 in the quite like section. And this is out of a total of 18 new movies so far this year.